Hi there, this is Vevzir. In this video, I'm going to talk about control structures or the if statement. Often there are situations when you want to run a particular piece of code only if some condition is true. For example, look at this statement in plain English that says, if you get 90% or more this year, I will get you a bike. Now this can be converted into a code with the help of this if statement. Notice that I write if, then I open the parentheses inside which I specify a condition. So if marks greater than equals to 90 is true, then system.out.println will execute. Otherwise, the program will jump to the statement that comes after the if block is over on the parentheses. Same way, I can make more complex conditions. Let's say you want to check if marks are more than 80% but less than 90%. In this case, I will combine using the AND operator. So I have the same if condition and I have the block here inside which I say system.out.println. Now this println statement will run only if the value of the variable stored inside marks is greater than or equals to 80 and at the same time it is less than 90. Now let's go one step further and try to add an alternative as well. In this case, if you pass, you get a chocolate, otherwise no video games. So let's say that we have the variable called marks. I'm going to check the value of this variable. If that value is greater than 40, then the first print statement will run. Otherwise, the second print statement will run. The idea is that only one of these print statements is going to run at a given time. The same way, I can make things even more elaborate to support multiple conditions. In which case, I could say if marks are greater than 90, then do this. Otherwise, if the marks are greater than 80, do this. If the marks are greater than 40, do this. Now, let's say the marks are 60. So what happens in that case? The first condition, marks greater than equals to 90, will fail, which means this print statement won't execute. So the code will jump over here to the first else if statement. Now 60 greater than equals to 80 will again become false. Therefore this print won't execute either and will jump to the third part over here where 60 greater than equals to 40 is true. Therefore this else if statement will execute and the print statement will run. And after this the program will jump directly to whatever line comes after this complete if else block and that is how if else works. So take a look at this case where if else can be put inside either an if statement or an else statement itself. So you can do this infinitely. You can have if else several times in several different places if you want. So what is the idea? The idea is marks should be greater than equals to 90. Now, as long as the marks are greater than or equals to 90, then one of these two things can happen. Either the score can be greater than 80, in which case you will run the print statement that says you get a car. Otherwise, you will get a bike. But if the marks greater than or equals to 90 condition is false, then we won't be executing any of this. We will jump directly to the else statement that comes at the bottom, which says go to the gym. So now that you guys understand a bit of how this whole if else statement stuff works in Java, let's go to IntelliJ in the next video and play with it for a bit. In the meanwhile, Google these following things. Dangling else problem in Java, the semicolon after if statement, the short circuit evaluation. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.